Stepping back up in the inheritance, stack will let us back to the generic system make file. The generic system make file and its dependencies contain all the needed modules and settings that make the Android generic system image or the GSI. A generic system image is a system image with adjusted configurations for Android devices. It's considered a pure Android implementation with unmodified Android open source project code that any Android device running Android 8.1 or higher can run successfully. Using dynamic system updates, the GSI can be pushed to a variety of Android devices and booted as a guest OS on the device. So there is no need to flash the active system partition to test beta versions on real devices. You can download pre-built GSIs from the AOSP Continue Integration website at ci.android.com. On Android 11, a GSI can be downloaded by tapping the DSU loader in the developer options and selecting a DSU package that supports your CPU. The AOSP has a GSI branch that includes the content of Android with all security patches and GSI patches applied. You can build the GSI by checking out the Android 9, 10 or 11 GSI branch using the repo init command. You will need to sync, then launch the OOSP ARM 64 and build the system image by running make. After building the GSI, you can flash it to the system partition using the fastboot flash system command. You can also push the system image to the download folder on the device and using HeyDB. Launch the dynamic system verification activity and reboot to the new GSI. 